Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk pitcher today, and let's start out with a couple of the guys that are pitching as well. Well, let's talk about three guys that are pitching well. Why not? Let's just blow it off. This is the big three, right? First number of the day is 0.66, as in the whip, the last four times that Zach Granke has taken the hill. Tremendous season. Again, 0.66 whip in four starts, but it's not just that, folks. He's made 17 starts this season for the Dodgers. 13 of those 17 outings. Zero or one or run. Think about that. 13 of 17 times he's taken the hill, he's given the Dodgers zero or one earned run against for that offense to score some runs. Now, they haven't done a great job supporting him, so his record's not great, but he's been tremendous. An ERA below 1.5, a whip below 0.9, a 5 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio, he's been as good as ever. Strikeouts rate is down a little bit. It's in the sevens for him. It's not a great fantasy number with the totality of his game. How could anyone possibly complain? We've seen Granke pitch like this before. He won a signing award a couple years ago. One of the better pitchers in baseball, though he's not often talked about it in that sense. Can't expect him to continue at this amazing pace. But boy, has he been tremendous thus far for the Dodgers. Second number of the day is 29.1 as the number of consecutive scoreless innings for Giovanni Gardo. Hey, Giovanni Gardo goes home to Texas and look what happens. He takes off for the Rangers. A little bit of a slow start. He's obviously erased that of late 29 and a third scoreless innings. Now that effort drops his ERA for the season down to 2.56. Some problems with that. 352 is the lowest mark he's ever had in a full season. That's a little, that's, yeah, be a little bit nervous about that. His 6.35 strikeout per nine rate would be the worst of his career. Now, his ground ball rate is way up, which is good. That gives him more innings, might have, help him have a little bit more consistency, but the strikeout rate is way down, killing uh, his outlook moving forward in the fantasy game. Uh, his Sierra is 3.99, his XFIP is in the three eights. The bottom line is that this hot streak of late has changed what it looks like Gardo is but he is still the guy that we thought he was a month and a half ago. A solid pitcher, a very good option in AL only leagues, mixed leagues with the lack of strikeouts and the certain rise of the ERA. Be careful with Giovanni Gallardo. And the final number of the day is 2.38 as in the ERA the last six times that Clay Buckholz has taken the hill. I don't like Clay Buckholz. You know, whether it's because he's cheating or he's got that dirty, greasy hair or just because of the up-down, up-down nature of his performance. But of late, he's been locked in. He's had a couple of really bad outings this season. The rest of the time, he's been really good. It's been a little too good, though. Uh, the strikeout rate well into the eights. He's never had a mark above that uh, in any season in which he's been a full-time pitcher. That's a concern. Almost a bigger concern for me than the huge strikeout jump is the big-time reduction in the walks. He's never had a walk rate below 285 per nine innings for a season. It's 188 right now. That's almost a full batter off. Can he keep up the strikeout and walk, walk pace? I don't think he keeps up either one. But he has, again, pitched very well to this point. He's got about a 50% ground ball ratio, that 1.6 ground ball to fly ball mark for the season. Good numbers. I still think Clay Buckholz is someone you have a very hard time or should have a very hard time trusting. He's been excellent of late. And overall, I'll give the guy credit. He's been pretty good for the Red Sox. But listen to the Big Three, Fantasy Alarm TV. I'll talk to you all again soon. Got to go do some football stuff now.